Shemot, Exodus 1. Now, these are the names of the children of Yasharel, which came into Mitzrayim. Every man and his household came with Et Yaakov. Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda. Yishikar, Zevelin, and Binyamin. Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Yaakov were seventy souls. For Yosef was in Mitzrayim already. And Yosef died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Yashar El were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king, king over Mitzrayim, which knew not at Yosef. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Yasar El are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when there falls out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, at Pitom and at Ra'amechik. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Yasar El. And the Mitzrayim made at the children of Yasar El to serve with rigor. And they made at their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and in brick, and in all manner of service in the field, at all their service, wherein they made them serve, was with rigor. And the king of Mitzrayim spoke to the Ivri midwives, of which the name of the one was Sitharah, and the name of the other Pu'ah. And he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to at the Erith women and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared at Elohim and did not as the king of Mitzrayim commanded them, but saved at the men children alive. And the king of Mitzrayim called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing, and have saved at the men children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Irith women are not as the Mitzrith women, for they are lively, and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Therefore Elohim dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared at Elohim, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive.